First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to the Most High Yahweh, also to, to the true Holy Black Messiah, the King of Kings, Royal to Himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. This is Fallen Kings coming right back at you another lesson. On um, the name of this lesson, I'm going to make it real short. It says, How did America get its wealth? Well, we all know that through history and school, they taught us um, bits of bits. Well, they, well they, now they're even taking it out of school, which is slavery. And uh, it's been on my spirit lately, man, to go over this topic because a lot of people don't realize that this whole economy was built off the back of the Latino, Hispanic, Black, so-called African-American, and so-called Native American. Um, I'm learning now through history, I was doing research, that they first tried to enslave the Native American Indians, but they kept dying off. And they was overpopulating them at that point in time. And they wasn't familiar on the sugar cane and all that type of... They weren't familiar on how to plant sugar and all that stuff. So that's why they went and got us, the Southern Kingdom, um, which consists of the Haitians, um, 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 the Haitians, the so-called African-Americans, and our brothers and sisters in Jamaica, and um, the South the South Park region of America, to go build, you know, to build this... Um, this um, this wicked society, which we, which we know now as America. And they made a world economy off, off of that. But the point I wanted to get to was America wealth was established by the way of the slave trade. And that's how this country became the, the richest country on the face of the planet. It's because of that. Let me get a scripture real quick. Jeremiah 22 verse 13 Woe unto him that buildeth a house by unrighteousness. Was not America built by unrighteousness? Um, think about this. You build a world economy off the back of us, and we could barely get along. You know what I mean? Woe unto him that buildeth, buildeth a house by unrighteousness, and his chambers by wrong, that uses his neighbor's service without wages. Did they pay us? To this day, the black man, so-called Native American man, at least the Native American, at least they have so so quote unquote reservations, even though that's a bunch of baloney. And that's not that's injustice because this land was the Native American's land. But the so-called black man, they slim us in ghettos, give us food stamps, and uh, give us welfare and think they're doing something. When you read the book of Ezra, it says the world was made for our sake. And, and it said we, not, we don't possess an inheritance. That's in the book of Ezra. But, you know. This place is wicked, man. All right, it's like it. Woe unto him that buildeth his house. Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness and his chambers by wrong that useth his neighbor's servant without wages and giveth him not for his work. And to this day, um, all these so-called political electoral officials, they always say, Slavery was bad. Slavery was terrible. But none of them do anything to try to wrong that hurt, which they can't do it anyway. Because in order for them to re to to, re to re redistribute the world the world economy, because um to pay those previous slaves, which would be us, you're talking about trillions of dollars that would bankrupt the country. We already know that fact, so we know they're not going to do that. But the simple fact is this: instead of them helping us, they added on the oppression. By the way, the credit bureaus, you have to get a certain credit score. And they put you in a position, they put you in a position to fail from the financial disadvantages. And, and another thing, too, I wanted to add, with the financial disadvantages that they put on our people, um, I was learning throughout history that during a time of, after the, um, the passimation and proclamation of when Abraham Lincoln uh, set the free to slave, we were supposed to get that 40 um, acres in the mural. But what happened was Esau, they, they added on to the oppression. And the, some of the brothers and sisters that were slaves 
well, all of them pretty much that were slaves, when they became to become farmers, they were charging them for the tools they was using to even plant on the land that was supposed to be theirs. And they was even double taxing them on the land. So not only they not only was they not able to get make a, a accurate profit, they was also getting charged per day for the tools to use to even create their own land. I mean, to create, I mean to um to create produce on on their own land. So I mean, I mean you know this this place is built off wickedness, man. This is the um proverb trying to um, proverb Sakia. Proverb chapter twenty two verse sixteen. He that oppresses the poor increases riches. <clears throat> Did they not oppress us? Still oppress us to this day. He that give it to the rich should surely come to want. And hey, when this judgment hit this place, they will come to want. You know, because the Most High is going to judge them um, for all the wickedness and uh, atrocities, atrocities they've done to our people and still doing to our people. To this day, we are still in bondage. I don't care how much you think you're free. Another form of bondage, you ever heard of economically oppressed? That's a form of bondage. Psychological oppression, that's a form of bondage. Identity oppression. You might say, well, what do you mean identity oppression? They stole our identity and called themselves the Jews. And they covered the image of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. They covered the whole image of the heavens with blasphemy. So you are still in bondage. It's different types of bondage. It's different types of oppression. People just think, oh, man, it's just um, financial oppression. That's the main one, of course. That's number one, the financial oppression, because through the financial oppression comes the identity oppression, comes the psychological oppression. Because it lets you, it, we all look down upon in, this, in society. You know, but the most important one, at all to me is the identity oppression because if you don't know your identity you can't do for yourself or your nation or your people because your identity is taken away i want to give all honor praise and glory to the most high yahweh all the true the black beside the king of kings world himself yahweh shah mashiach also the father father the true father one west this father kings world to another lesson to 12 tribes of israel to you i say shalom